You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, we're going to talk about Baker Mayfield. We're going to talk about the Denver Broncos in this and the and the Buccaneers. Uh, very quickly, some of the actives are starting to come out. There's that controversy around Jamar Chase trashing the defense of the Chiefs. He's active. It looks like he's going to play and back up his words. Guys, Jake Browning, the, all those Browns weapons, all of a sudden Chiefs Bengals looks like a good game today. I'm looking forward to that. Also, um, if Kenny Pickett is active, he'll back up Mason Rudolph. So, anyway, let's get to this. Got a couple of things. Number one, one of these things is pretty surprising. Um, and it involves the Buccaneers and where they stand right now involving Baker Mayfield and whether or not they're negotiating a contract. Now, there's some conflicting reports out there, but I, I came across one that is saying, as of right now, they're not talking. All right? They're not talking yet on contract. Now, you're looking at playoff picture as of right now. If they win today, very big game, rivalry game in Tampa Bay against the Saints. All right? So, look, the thing that Baker has done is he has stabilized the quarterback situation after you lost Tom Brady. I mean, it hasn't bothered Baker Mayfield to come in there and replace the GOAT at all. And that's sort of the fieriness that a lot of Cleveland Browns fans loved about Baker. And now Buccaneers fans are starting to embrace with Baker and have embraced for a while. And the fact is, Baker's playing pretty good. I think he's ranked uh, as the 18th best quarterback in the league out of 40 as far as PFF goes. And, you know, this is one of those head-scratching things because he's got numbers that indicate, really, he's better than that. Um 3,600 yards, that 12th, that's 12th in the league. I mean, he's tied for 6th in touchdowns, 26. There's no way you could have asked for better production. The numbers between Baker and Tom are basically identical. So, of course, the, the big difference here, and, and a lot of people's brought up, well, Russell Wilson's numbers look a lot like Baker's. Russell's making 36. 35, 37 million Bakers making with incentives and everything. He might make 8 million this year or 6 million. Point is, one is awesome, especially for the money. The other one, not so much. Plus, Baker's been making plays in the clutch. So, uh, let's get to this. This is interesting right here because it, evidently, they're not talking as of yet amid no immediate plans for the Buccaneers to extend Baker Mayfield for next season. The quarterback has made it known what he sees in the franchise. Quote, obviously free agency allowed me to pick an organization, pick the organizational stability and knowing what is here. Part of that's got to be weapons, folks. He's got to consider it. Mike Evans leaves. All of a sudden, the Buccaneers aren't nearly as, as, uh, as attractive anymore. Now, if they, if they backfill Mike Evans or if he stays, then, yeah, you, you're, looking at, you're looking at Baker staying probably. Or if, you leave, if he leaves, the weapons are going to make a difference to another quarterback you're going to try to bring in. Quote, that's what you look for when you have an opportunity to choose. You look for that, and then you do the best thing you can and make the most of it. Right now, I'm just trying to take it one game at a time, like I've mentioned the past few weeks. Just see where it goes. ESPN's Jenna Lang previously wrote on December the 24th, the Buccaneers have not approached Mayfield about an extension, sources told ESPN. Lane also wrote that, quote, talks will not happen until after the season in early 2024. Now, all in all, I guess that's no big deal, except, all right, we know as soon as the season ends, lying season begins, okay? Everybody will start lying about everything. And honestly, I think it happens now, all right? I think agents are already talking to team owners, general managers, and I think this kind of thing goes on, and yes, is it a, a violation of, of different league policies and this and that and the third? Sure. 
But, I mean, look, I mean, owners are talking to potential coaching replacements six months before they fire a coach. That happens all the time. Every year it happens. All right? Uh, so, you're going to have teams that are going to be interested in Baker. I did a, a video yesterday afternoon. Steelers, going to be a big one, the attractive part there. You got Deontay Johnson, you got George Pickens, and... Baker gets to play the Browns twice a year. And for lack of a better way of screw, uh, saying it, Baker would love to screw the hell out of the Browns twice a year. I mean, let's, let's be honest. And I don't blame him. You know, I get it. That's just the kind of attitude and personality Baker's got. So there's going to be other teams. Well, one of those other teams, as we know, just got rid of Ru Well, he, they haven't gotten rid of Russell Wilson yet, but they've benched him. And so they're headed down the road of probably letting him go, right? By the way, may not have benched him if he was willing to rework his contract. He wasn't, so they benched him. It is what it is. You know, I knew that wasn't going to work to begin with. So a little information has emerged about Sean Payton and how he used to feel about Baker Mayfield may still feel. So we're talking about the Broncos coach. Again, you're talking about a coach that wants a run a rhythm and timing offense gets the ball like Drew Brees. Boom, 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 throw it. Boom, 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 throw it. Boom, boom, throw it, right? Uh, little little pocket awareness, up and down mobility in the pocket. And Baker, honestly, he's got 164 scramble yards this year. Baker's actually moved around pretty good this year. He looks a little lighter, and uh, I think that's helped him out. I think that's helped Baker out. So, Charles Robinson, he's a very good Yahoo NFL insider, wrote this several years ago from the Senior Bowl, and it has been discovered again, rediscovered in light of the fact that Baker's going to be a free agent and Sean Payton may be looking for a quarterback. Have heard for about a month now that Saints coach Sean Payton is squarely in the camp of Baker Mayfield believers, that's not going away. Okay, so so you could probably add the Broncos in there as another team. Now, here we are. This is the schedule today. This is today. Less than two hours. Saints Bucks kick off in Tampa. I think if they make the playoffs, it's it's a big deal. Uh, and I think it's a big deal as far as it relates to Baker's potential staying. All right. Uh, now, if they win, 99% chance they're getting in the playoffs, okay? Now, oddly enough, I got to looking down here. If the Saints win, they're still not looking very good. They're still not looking. 27% if they win this game. I mean, the surprising one of the bunch is the Packers here at 54. If they beat the Vikings today, and that's a Sunday night football game, and the Rams, shit, nobody wants to play the Rams. I mean, Matthew Stafford is all of a sudden, last several weeks, more than a couple of weeks, several, several weeks, Matthew Stafford's playing like an MVP all over again. So, that's where we stand. Baker has not, let me just click out of that. Baker has not entered into any kind of contract talks with the Bucks. Uh-oh. And you have got the Steelers rumored out there. Now we know Sean Payton, and the other one is Bill Belichick. I can tell you right now, him and Josh McDaniels, they loved Baker Mayfield. I mean, there was a legitimate thing about the Patriots trading up to get Baker. Number one overall back in the day. All right? Now, uh, they loved him. They scouted him. And a lot of these coaches, look, I think Sean Payton, Parcells tree. Belichick, Parcells tree. I think they like Baker's attitude. I think that attitude that that we I always call it moxie, that that fight, that not quit, hustle, let me grind it out. Baker knows he's not 6'5", 235, he's 6'1", 215, and he's got to, I mean, he's got to, I mean, really gear up and throw the ball, you know, got a good arm, but not a great arm, not a Josh Allen arm. You know, not a Joe Flacco arm, not a a cannon, right? 
So Baker has to scrap and claw and fight for everything he gets in the NFL. I think Sean Payton, I think a Bill Belichick, if he goes to, you know, the commanders, they're going to like somebody like Baker. Mike Tomlin is going to like somebody like Baker. Todd Bowles, Dave Canales, like somebody like Baker. The thing that also makes Baker attractive versus, say, Russell Wilson, because my son last night said, well, aren't you basically trading the same quarterback? No. Baker's going to get maybe 18 to 25 million, 28 million. I mean, it's probably going to be 10 million or more less than what Russell Wilson would have cost. And he could run the offense better. That's that's the difference here. Less money, less money. Baker's got his head in the game more than I want to be Mr. Unlimited and my teammates don't like him. There was a thing that came out, and I could have done a separate video on this, but Russell Wilson got sacked. And his offensive line, this was just recently, his offensive line, very publicly and openly, you could tell they didn't give a shit that he got cremated. That's a bad look for a guy. That's a bad look. When your offensive linemen don't come over to want to help you up and blah, 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 check on you, nah, they just turned back around. Uh, Sean Payton saw that, guys. They, You know, he did. They're not doing that to Baker. They love that. They, they, them Buccaneers players love Baker. So tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. Baker Mayfield is going to have, there's going to be real suitors. And if I'm the Buccaneers, as soon as I clinch the playoffs, I'm giving Baker a, another year. I'm giving him a year with probably an option year, something akin, very similar, akin to what Jimmy Garoppolo got. You know, two years, it was two years around 50 or something like that. That's going to be the ballpark I'm in on Baker. You know, and and Russell's 35, Baker's only 28. Big difference. That's a big difference there. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.